Hey guys, Delby here. Welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to do is check out some free alternatives to some of the most popular and expensive plugins on the market. These are the plugins that all the pros are using, everyone's recommending, and what we're going to do is find some of the most recommended free alternatives and put them to the test. In case you haven't seen it, I've got a masterclass out with Fader Pro, Deep House Track from Scratch. There's a link in the description if you want to go and check it out, and you can use the code DILBYDEEP to get 20% off. As always, you can download the project files for this video from Patreon. There's a link in the description that goes to Patreon, and it's one of the best ways that you can support the channel. Make sure I keep bringing you these videos every week. Now let's jump into Ableton and put these free plugins to the test. All right, so here we are inside Ableton, and this is a little beat that I've put together to demonstrate and test out some of the free alternatives to some of the most popular and pretty expensive plugins. So let's just jump in. We'll take a listen to the beat. So not bad. We've got some drums and a kick, which I'll show you here. As always, you can download the project from Patreon, link in the description, so you can go through, have a look at a bit more detail about what I've done here. Uh, then we've got a bass, which is coming from Serum. Cool, nice, like, deep subby, but also has a bit of vibe to it. And then I've got a little glitchy, little plucky synth here. I've got some chord stabs, which they come from my Korg Minilog. I just recorded them in audio. We're not using them, but they'll be in the project if you want to grab them and use them in your project. Uh, we've got a vocal here. So that's playing this phrase. And it's got a whole bunch of delay on it. Sounds pretty cool. The original's in D and that's pitched down to A minor, which is the key of the track. We're at 124 BPM. So the first synth that I looked at was Serum. Serum is pretty expensive wee monster, but really good and super popular. Uh, personally, I don't use it a lot. I use Diva like 90% of the time, but Serum is definitely popular. A lot of people really seem to like it for sound design. And because of this, because it's so popular and because people who are into sound design seem to really like it, there's a lot of really good packs. So I have it mainly for collaborating with people because a lot of people use it and they send me a project, so I kind of need to have it. But there are some really good packs. And this preset I've found is from a preset pack by Mercurial Tone. So there's some really good stuff on there. We've, what I've done is basically just duplicate this over and I didn't do this live because it took a lot of messing around and I tried to recreate the synth, right? So this is called Artie and Batty Driving. So I guess it's an Art Bat inspired sub. So there's the notes just playing on A, pretty simple stuff. But it has like a nice driving groove with the kick. So I've just copied that over and I'm going to be honest, I didn't get that close. <laughs> I think I might have kind of set myself up for failure by choosing a patch that was based around these wavetables, which were from the Mercurial Tones packs. So they're not based on like standard um, synthesizer, synthesizer waves. They're imported wavetables. So I, what I could have done is like found the wavetables and then copied them to Vital, but then that wouldn't have been something that you could recreate. So I just tried to kind of recreate it in Vital. You know, it's in the ballpark. Maybe it's my sound design or my lack of sound design ability. I don't know. Um, but I think also I kind of set myself up for failure with those lackluster wavetables. So yeah, it sounds like we've got the same bass patch, but from wish.com here. So I would say that that is a bit of a fail, but I'm going to give Vital the win because we could have imported the wavetables and used them in here. It is an amazing synth and it's really really good for the price which is free <laughs> okay so the next thing we've got here is this pluck this is the pattern and it's got this i've just put this uh delay on it which so it's kind of like a cross rhythm polyrhythm type thing um but with the delay on it it just sounds a little more interesting 
And then I've got Decapitator, which is a Sound Toys plugin, very popular, probably one of the, if not the most popular saturation plugin. But as you're probably aware, the Sound Toys plugins are pretty expensive. You can get them on discount, Black Friday, whatnot. They're still kind of expensive, even on discount but um they're really good you know i do this as a career so it's worth me investing in it so i've shelled out for them but there are other options around other free options so what i'm going to look at here is something that was recommended online it's pretty much brand new it's heatwave from slate digital so i've never actually used this plugin i've literally just installed it i'm a slate digital subscriber but this is free for anyone to use um, but i'm actually I've cancelled my Slate Digital subscription and it ends about 21 days. But I don't want to think about that because I don't know what I'm going to do with my projects when that happens. But that's a story for another day. So let's have a listen to Heatwave. This is the sound without any saturation. So Decapitator is really, really helping that sound. So let's see what Heatwave can do. It's adding quite a bit of volume. Doesn't really sound like it's giving the same kind of body. It feels like Decatur Potato is almost adding some compression or adding some sustain to the sound. What if I push the input gain? It's getting a bit better. Let's try this clipping. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Maybe it wouldn't activate the clipper till we got over the threshold. I don't know. There's a bit closer. Let's try and push it more. Bring this down a little bit more. Okay, I'm not sure how that clipper works, how it gets engaged, but it's sounding a little bit closer. Let's hear it in context. I'm going to say that's a fail from Heatwave, uh, to be honest. So we've got one to the freebies and one to the, well, they're expensive and popular. Okay, so the next thing is an automatic fail. I was looking for a free alternative to Tantra, which is really expensive, actually, 200 bucks for this thing. But you can get it on sale a lot. So I think I got this for $25. But the free alternative version to Tantra that I found was... D Blue Glitch, which is a 32 VST2 plugin that is no longer supported by the people who made it. Uh, they have a Glitch 2, which is not free. But so I, it's actually something I used to use years ago um, and always had fun messing around with. I tried to install it, but just couldn't get it to work on my system. Maybe there's a way to get 32 bit plugins to work. I don't know. But it, for me, it's an instant fail because I can't use it. And that seemed to be like the only thing that people were suggesting. So, yeah, fail. So that's two to the paid versions. Let's have a look here. We've got this vocal with another Sound Toys plugin. This is Echo Boy. So this has got different uh, style emulations here. If we go to this, we can choose like Studio Tape, Echo Plex, Tube Tape, Cheap Tape. Memory Man, so it's got some kind of like emulations of types of delay, a lot of different types of delays. You can see here, it's crazy, crazy amounts of different things. Um, some are emulations of famous old delay units, and some are just like different things like tape. Let's try and see what this plugin can do. It's called Plus Plus Delay, and this is what I was recommended. It's by a company called Soundhack. 
well not what I was recommended what I saw being recommended online so let's just see if we can again I've never tried this plugin before dry wet so I've got this set to like 25 so let's, I guess that's dry wet okay sounds like reverb <laughs> uh time is it not synced oh that's volume for the left and right Um, that's a trip. I am going to say that's a fail. I saw this listed on multiple sites of the best free alternative plugins for Echo Boy. Fail? I don't know. I had high hopes for that one, although the interface is pretty awful. All right. Okay. So the last one we're going to look at is FabFilter Pro L. So people like this because it's pretty transparent it's very it's got a lot of details you can be very precise with it but it's also very transparent where it can be so so we're getting to around this kind of nine minus nine lufs mark so we're going to look now at it's ugly isn't it that is called limited z there's a paid version of this which has apparently got more features uh can we resize the plugin window yes bonus so i guess i'm just going to use this limit am i doing something wrong here because that seems crazy it's taking that much effort or that much limiting to get up to the minus nine lufs is this like auto gain okay this can't be right okay Maybe I should have read the manual on these things before I tried them, but you know, I guess I don't think I've read the manual on any of these other plugins, so and I use them. So I mean L Pro L2 is pretty simple. You literally just add some gain. Okay, that's what I should have been doing here, I guess. Yeah, adding gain. <laughs> How much gain do I have on this three okay ah ceiling right okay it's just the layout of the plugin is kind of weird so I was reading that as being the limit control but that's the gain control and that's the ceiling control right so if we look here I believe I don't have a ceiling set so we just use that as zero and then we'll add three db okay I can't do three i can do 3.1 or 2.9 we're 3.1 that doesn't sound terrible to be honest okay it, there was a bit of a learning curve to understand the interface and it's ugly as hell it, it's, it looks like it was kind of made on linux or something but um <laughs> uh, but it doesn't sound too bad to be honest and like it's better than the ableton default version this piece of junk here which uh, maybe is not a piece of junk let's try it against this This has got the ceiling set to here. Yeah, I don't know. 
and I'm added it. I think that's cool. So let's say that is two limited Z. If you can't afford Pro L2, which is also expensive, very popular. Uh, yeah, this is a good free alternative, I would say. So vital, absolutely, no doubt. Heat wave does not beat Decapitator, no way. Deep blue glitch does not beat Tantra because I can't even get it to work. Plus plus delay is no match for Echo Boy, despite what they say on Reddit. And Limited Z, yeah, good free alternative. All right, so yeah, I mean, there's some options. I think they, these plugins are in general worth the money. The only real, real star I think of the show is Vital. It's amazing for free. It's insane, actually. Uh, but that's that said, within your DAW, whether that's Ableton, Logic, FL Studio, whatever, there are probably better alternatives than these free plugins. I just don't think you need these free alternatives in most cases. Get Vital. It's amazing and otherwise just use your stock plugins I think. If you really feel like you need it you can shell out for the real deal not the wish.com version. All right guys, there you go. Well, that's that. In a way, it looks like you get what you pay for, except for Vital, that's sick. If there's some free plugins that I should have included in this video, let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for something to watch next, then check out this video. I think you're gonna like it. Well, that's it from me today. We'll catch you next time. Peace.